Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about how can we run asynchronous code inside the it block. All right, so how do we write asynchronous code into JavaScript? So the answer is with the help of callbacks, promise, and async functions. Okay, that's how we can write the asynchronous code now in mocha when you write the asynchronous code inside the it blocks right we you have to specifically tell mocha hey i'm gonna tell you when this is complete all right so this is what we have to instruct to mocha and here are a couple of links so this is my channel and this is a series on javascript so if you don't know what this uh, promise callback and async keyword is so you can go and watch part 40 so here now i've covered all the three ways through which we can write asynchronous code all right then we are going to also work on one library which is axios so axios is nothing it's a promise based http client so we are going to work on this all right so this is the library it's a promise based http client for browser and node and we are going to work on this particular endpoint which is request.in and we are going to work on the single user so when we hit this endpoint using axios this is the response that we are going to get back and in the response we are going to write our assertion on email all right so let's start this so what are we going to do now? So let us first install Axios. So the way we are going to do is npm i Axios. All right, so once this is installed, we are going to import that. And there are three ways we can manage the asynchronous code. One is with the help of promise. Second one is with the help of done argument. Third one is with the help of async and await. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just comment these out. We are going to first see the promise based way. And let me have one more test case. All right. So this is test case two. Okay. And all we are going to do here is going to log a statement, which is test two. All right. So the way we work on axios is we are going to say axios dot get and we have to provide in the url all right so this is our url okay and then when we work with promises right so promise can be either in the pending state or in the resolved state or rejected state right so once it's resolved with the help of then we can work with what's being returned in the response so then accepts a callback function all right and so we will get the response in here and we are going to write the callback okay so now we get the response right and how does it work in axio so response dot data will give you the body okay so here we are going to write a simple expect right so we are going to write the assertion and to be equal okay and some value right so the value is the email that we are going to assert so this is our email okay so and here we are going to say rest dot data this is how we are going to get the response body then we have data dot email all right so if you look here so this is the response whole response right so if we want to access this object we are going to say dot data and then inside we have dot email all right so we are ready and now what we are going to do is we are going to run this test case and i have made some change in here so if you look at the package or json what i'm saying is just run this async dot app dot spec dot js so just this particular test module and i don't want to run these modules because that is going to slow it down and we have to concentrate on um, you know asynchronous test cases only all right and i've also added this uh, 
timeout lag because when you work with asynchronous code right at times it take longer mocha by default suppose timeout of i guess 2000 milliseconds so if this api is not going to return us the response within two um, seconds then in the test case will time out so i've extended it to you know uh, 50,000 milliseconds all right so now we are going to hit that and we are going to see something right so all i'm going to do is npm test hit enter and okay so you could see that you know this test case is passed all right so both the test cases are passed now what i'm going to do is i'm going to fail this test case all right because now things would be clearer so this should fail now okay and now we'll see the test case is still passed all right and then at the end we got this exception all right the assertion error because this is not matching this is what we got from the response and this is what our expectation is all right so therefore you know we have to inform mocha that hey wait for this test case to be completed all right and the way we are going to do it, and that's why i added this particular test case as well to show you that you know these test cases were getting passed so now we don't require this or okay let me just uh, fix this first and then we are going to get rid of this so then if you're working in promise the first way you can fix it is you just add return in front of it all right and now let us see that so i've saved this and i'm going to execute this again let's see if we see a different behavior this time all right so now you could see that the first test case is failed and second is passed all right and now the reason is also provided like this okay so that's how you are going to deal with asynchronous code when it comes to promise all right so the next way we are going to uh, fix this is using the done okay so this is our done way and basically you know uh, by we are going to add an argument to this callback function so by adding an argument uh, to a test callback right mocha will know that it should wait for this function to be called to complete the test and this callback accepts you know both an error instance um, or a falsy value anything else in is invalid usage and you know throws an error so usually people use uh, you know uh, done here like this so then the way we are going to uh, do is let me just you know copy this part in here all right and what we are going to do is we are going to call this done here okay and the other thing that we are going to do is you know there might be errors right and then we have to use catch and in that again we accept a callback and here we are going to pass error all right and then we can pass this error <coughs> in done method all right so that's how we are going to do it so let us comment this out all right and let us uh, execute this test case so let us first pass it okay so it is passed and if i do end all right so it, this should fail okay and as you could see it is fail all right so uh, you can give it any name so what you can essentially do is you can say abc it will still work right but usually people use done because you know by done you say okay now the test case is done all right so but you can use any name okay so this is about uh, the second way so the third way is the third way is with the help of async and await keyword and the way we are going to do is very simple straightforward uh we are going to use this all right so we are going to say a hey, await all right and this uh, but remember this so whenever you use the keyword await 
the function which is uh, which carries this body you also have to use the tag async all right so we have put in the async in here uh, and the next thing that we are going to do is so this is going to wait for the response so we are going to store the response into a variable res let's say to represent the response all right so once this is done then it's pretty simple straightforward you just write your assertion okay in here and let us comment it out again and let's execute this so this is again going to pass first so we're going to say npm test okay so the test case is passed if you set a different value then it is going to fail all right so it's failed and you can do more reading on this on mocha js.org and you have the asynchronous code here it talks about you know these three ways so first one is done all right then you have the promise all right and the third one is async and await all right here they are performing operations on the database right as you could see uh, you can also use xeos all right so that's about running asynchronous code inside mocha thank you